Uh, bought a little grotto talk today up here in Alpine, end of the day. We have got our grotto just about ready for Shockrete. Shockrete's coming tomorrow, about 11 in the morning. And I just want to give you guys an update, show you what we do. We have pegboard all throughout the inside of the feature. <coughs> I'm going to move this rock's just sitting here. It was a, holding down our pile of concrete right here. And we, we mixed all our concrete up and we pre-pour places so that the whole structure is stabilized. This is the front X section of the weir. So that thing locks the whole thing in. You can see how much we've already done this much of the uh, feature. All that concrete, we shot it when we shot the pool. And I'm standing on it here. So this thing is not going anywhere. It's all half inch, really fat and happy uh, rebar we got going on. We have our starting pond right there. Again, we're pre-pouring, or as it were, pre-placing mortar mix mixed in with concrete. And the starting pond's right there. And then it's gonna well up and dump in here come across here and get back out into the pool and cycle around. The slide is uh, looking good. We did the sidewall where it was just one thickness of rebar, but two thicknesses of chicken wire on both sides. We just pinched mortar in the concrete mix. We have it a concrete mix, 4,000 PSI, along with spec mix. <coughs> so we'll walk around and check that out. If we can catch uh, the uh, final light. We got our window here, we pre-poured that already. You can see how that is. So when they shotcreted, they just shotcreted to the edge, the outer edge. Inside, drop it down in. We got the same thing. We got the pegboard prepped all around, up above. And if there's any any little spots, we can we fill those in with uh, burlap. So that's the inside of the Garado. <clears throat> we pre-poured these sort of bench steps. I'm going to put a little bench in the corner like a stone or whatever, maybe one on the right side and then left so you can get up to the top of the slide. Our pipes already set in there. We're pre-setting that with our Jandy three-way valves, one there and one here on the other side. Pegboard, you can just throw this stuff in and then it just it does a great job of just serving as a backstop for your for your mud. So the shocker guys are going to be blowing this up solid, this whole rock. That'll go pretty quick and easy. But here's our Pre-mixed mud again just by hand. We just worked it in one thickness of uh, Rebar basically with chicken wire on both sides and so we pre do this They're gonna shock feed this whole thing as well. So it'll thicken up. We'll get that thickness on it that we need This pipe feeds the whole feature. <clears throat> I'm gonna tap into that there that little pipe. There's the drain for the uh, Starting pond it was too low to go off the spillway. Otherwise, I would have done it that way but uh, we're just going to bring it down and pop it out the sidewall of the of the slide. So there's our slide trough getting ready for shotcrete manana. So we're going to blow that out tomorrow, and we're protecting the uh, stacker stone wall here with some bisqueen. <clears throat> Got our footings; they're all going to be blown in with shotcrete. We uh, had the inspector come, and he said everything looks honky dory. And uh, <clears throat> Daniel's putting in the last of the pegboard. Uh, again, it's just a little backstop. I'm going to probably pull off that burlap tomorrow before shotcrete, and so he can just blow that right on there and fill in all the gaps and cavities and stuff. We'll tape off the uh, the valve uh, the valves themselves, the jandy, so you can actually see what's going on. So, <coughs> um, update on the grotto. Grotto talk today here. <coughs> and so, you can do this uh, just follow the steps one at a time so tomorrow we got about six yards coming in and that should be taking care of uh taking care of us so thanks so much for watching the videos and uh we will see you next time remember to be thankful and forgiving all right all right uh if you want to see uh more of how we do this you can go to davehenderson.podia.com and <coughs> Grab some free content. Just put up my audio book of my Making Rocks book. I talk for four, five hours. I read the whole thing, plus extra information and anecdotes and stories. So, if you don't mind listening to me for five hours, you can grab a copy of that and learn about fake rocks, how do we build them, and how we make them, and how I started my business. And uh, so you can do that too. That's a really good 
good chapter on starting your own business. So anyway, hope you're having a great day. Remember to be kind, be thankful, tell someone you love them, and uh, make this world a better place. All right? Be thankful for giving, as I said. All right. So we'll see you next time. Mr. Dave on the Rock Pile, Grotto Land. We will see you soon. Bye.